is your first Alert 5 weather with Alex O'Brien. Check out this pretty sunset in Colorado Springs yesterday. Larry Marr captures the most gorgeous views of the mountains and the lake. Now, this is a little bit of virga showing up in the clouds or rain that is evaporating as it's going into drier air towards the surface. We might have more of that today because it will still be dry, but we have enough energy to support some thunderstorm development today. Yesterday was 94. That's about 10 degrees above average, and it was 101 in Pueblo with a little a bit of rain across Pueblo County and we do expect much of the same today. Nice hot weather, a few spotty storms, but overall this weekend the rain will favor the mountains. 71 is where we're at in the springs right now. Pikes Peak looking gorgeous this morning. So do the mountains in Pueblo and it's 70 degrees. Humidity is fine right now. It will drop less than 20% today, so a lot of the moisture from thunderstorms will evaporate in the plains. Uh, but right now, temperature 60s, 70s, nice, mild, and warm start. So overall, today is going to remain hot. We are tracking our relief with this cold front to the north that's now moving through Wyoming and the Dakotas, and eventually it will make it here by early Sunday morning and cool us down. So today, 96 in the springs, tomorrow 87. So solid 10 degree temperature drop will feel very nice. Between today and tomorrow, we have thunderstorm chances in place for the springs, but a much higher chance tomorrow. For Pueblo, we are likely to stay dry in the city today to 100, down to 91 by tomorrow with a better chance of thunderstorms in the evening. So let's track the clouds and the rain come this afternoon. By noon, we could see some spotty activity in the foothills. I think this is picking up a little bit further east than it should be. But the mountain showers today could produce some locally heavy rainfall. So overall this weekend, we are looking at the potential for burn scar flooding. Overall, just very hot in the plains today. A couple isolated thunderstorms might pop up east of La Junta. So Lamar, Springfield, and areas along Highway 50 that's possible today, but it won't be widespread. Now come Sunday morning, that's when our cold front arrives. That will bring in some cooler air and this humidity will be pushed up against the mountains and some heavy rainfall is possible in the early afternoon in our foothills and our mountain valleys. But then a couple of these storms will remain strong and move into the eastern plains where we finally have the moisture to keep the rainfall intact. And these thunderstorms will move into the eastern plains late through the evening and clearing out probably by midnight. So today, still holding on to the heat in the area, we've got highs in the triple digits in, uh, along the Arkansas River, the lowest elevation here in the state. Overnight, we're dropping to the 50s and 60s, not too bad. By tomorrow, we are looking about 10 degrees cooler. So we do have chances of thunderstorms sticking with us. That is great news. And we'll see some 80s from Sunday through when Tuesday in the springs. Pueblo, one more day of triple digits. Then we're back to the 90s from there on out with thunderstorm chances through Wednesday. Canyon City, 80s, 90s, looking at the week ahead. Thunderstorms almost daily through Wednesday and uh, up to Friday. Woodland Park, daily thunderstorm chances and 70s and 80s for you. We will be right back.